is live near Julian this morning with what people should know if they're planning on making that trip. Alex. Good morning, Evan. Yeah, it's actually not snowing where I am, but it, it is hailing. I would say that this is a little more icy than snow, but I'm actually stopped somewhere on the 78 on the way up to Julian and the cross street here is Washington Street. We were stopped here because of a closed road. Caltrans crews are working. They worked overnight to clean up snow and rain that uh, dismantled a shoulder and cleared a road. As you can see behind me, kind of looks like crews are consulting right now, so maybe we can get an update soon on when this road will be open, but earlier they told us that it will be 8 a.m. or later, so maybe we can get an update for you coming up. As you can see, this road is closed. There is a very big sign, um, and on the drive up here, there was a good amount of fog on the winding road, so make sure to be extra observant and make sure your brakes, windshield wipers, defroster, and heater are all in top condition. Now, we also saw a chains required sign, so check your tires and always carry chains with you if you are planning on making a drive to the mountain. If you see one of these signs that we saw requiring chains, pull over and put them on, uh, not only for your safety and other safety, but you can actually be cited and fined by CHP if you don't have them on in areas that they're required. Other things to keep in mind, uh, we recommend uh, keeping items with you in your car, like extra food, water, clothes, and towels. Also items for your car, like an ice scraper or a broom or shovel if your car gets covered in snow. And it's definitely a good idea to give yourself extra time in case of a delay like the one that we're seeing right now. Also plan ahead and check the forecast and traffic before coming up. And so back out here live, the kind of stopped hailing right now, actually, but clearly there are some con uh, winter conditions that we are seeing right now. So make sure to be extra careful, drive slow and bring all of those extra items, especially snow chains, because it is very likely that you will need them on your way up to the mountain. So hopefully we can get an update for you soon on when this road will be open again soon. I'll pass it back to you in the